Hello friends, welcome you all to our today's session. In this series, we are learning about Databricks and in our today's video, we will cover a qualify keyword in Databricks SQL. So we will learn how to use it and also we will see a small use case to understand it better. So this qualify keyword, uh, it is already available in different platforms like wherever we use SQLs like, like Teradata or else uh, Snowflake or else uh, BigQuery. But in Databricks, it is recently introduced and it is available only uh, from the version of runtime 10.0. So let us see how we can write a query before 10.0 and uh, how we can uh, achieve the same result with the qualify keyword with the runtime version 10.0 so that's what we are going to see today that being said we will use uh, Databricks uh, community edition for this demo let us move on to today's demo we are into my Databricks community edition account I have already started the cluster and created the notebook as well let me confirm whether the cluster is up yeah so also you can see here i have created a cluster with the runtime 12.2 uh, which is greater than 10.0 so obviously i can leverage and use the uh, keyword qualify in my sql command so that being said let us move on to our topic on using qualify keyword in databricks sql so the data set that we are going to take today is a small transaction related information that we have in a csv file and it is separated by uh, a pipe symbol so here you can see uh, we have a four columns of category product sales and date and this will give us the information on the particular category uh, what is the products that is available and uh, what is the sales amount that has happened for the particular date so on top of this uh, we have a use case or else a question and uh, the use case is to find the top performer by category or else I can reiterate the question like find the top selling product in each category for the particular date. So this is what the question is. So before 10.0 runtime, what we will do to solve this problem issue is anyways, we are going to use the windowing function, but we will be using a subquery to filter the top performer or else we will be using a CTE which is a common table expression to find the top selling product. So let us see that method first. Let us see before 10.0 how we will be solving this. So for that uh, as a first step, I'm reading the CSV file as a data frame. I'm using spark.read.format. I have already uploaded this data into the DBFS as well. And let me use dot display to display it. And the method one, I am using spark api function and uh, as you can see the code goes here so I am importing rank as well as the window and point to note here is the window function is available inside spark.sql.windows so please note that and then we are creating a window specification and then we are also uh, filtering on top of particular date we are creating a rank function I mean like uh, uh, we are creating a column rank uh, with the rank function and applying the window over that and again we are adding a one more step to filter the rank is equal to one so this will give us the top performer uh, for the particular date to seven so let us run this so this is the result that we are getting for the category electronic the product laptop has been sold for 1600 and the date is 27 2023 so this is the information that we have got and uh, now let us see the databricks sql method as well like uh, before 10 point uh, or runtime uh, with databricks sql how we will usually solve the first method is we will use the subquery like uh, we will uh, apply a windowing function inside the subquery and in the outer query we will directly filter the rank is equal to one so let me run this hope you guys are clear with the sql command so i am not uh, explaining it in detail so you can see the same result uh, we are avoiding uh, the rank column alone but still we are getting the same result uh, for category 
on the product what is the sales amount and the same can be achieved with cte as well let us also see the cte as well uh, common table expression as well so here uh, something like uh, common table expression i am creating it and then i am using it in the below select statement and filtering it on rank is equal to 1 so same result so after 10.0 we can directly use a qualify keyword so qualify keyword is nothing but uh, to filter the number of rows on windowing function so we have a where clause so where clause uh, we can't use it directly with the windowing function with the select statement but whereas uh, qualify can be used so here goes the statement select the items i mean the column names uh, from the table and i'm applying a var condition for date column uh, to filter it only for the particular date and then here goes the syntax qualify and then i am applying a windowing function rank over partition by category and then order by sales equal to one so what i am doing is just uh, applying a, a filter using a qualify keyword on the same select statement itself i am not using any uh, subquery or else a cte i am directly using it so let me run this so you can see the result uh, we are having a same result as the previous one so performance wise uh, all the four uh, options that we have saw either uh, PySpark API or else uh, SQL uh, Databricks SQL that we use subquery or CTE or else the qualify keyword performance wise it is all same uh, but the maintenance and the uh, visual explanation uh, will help us with the qualify keyword to choose it and uh, use it in our uh, Databricks SQL and also from migration perspective if you are trying to migrate uh, the SQL statements that you already have uh, for either from a Teradata or, or from Snowflakes or else from a BigQuery so in those cases uh, this qualify keyword uh, inclusion in runtime 10.0 will be a great support for us so hope you guys understood this try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues I'm happy to help you guys thank you for watching this video Please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Thank you.